What's Jenna going to talk about? So what I'm going to talk about is flexibility. Think in terms of the title. So flexibility for market access. And here's, and I think that's a key topic to have. The real Would issue... Would say international market access? International market access. Okay. So flexibility in systems and processes. Systems and processes are key to our market access because you can have a strategy about putting product into market, but the reality is you have cross-functional services that need to deliver the product to the market. And unless you have that, you really... Uh, you really find that you're going to have roadblocks along the way, whereas our systems and processes are really geared towards the US and EU markets and not our international markets. We need to think more broadly, cross-functionally in the company, about how how do our systems and processes need to change to fit these markets? And the reality is you can't change your processes and systems to fit 60 different types of regulation. So what you have to do is create flexibility. And it won't be the same in every company and it won't also be the same for every product range. So you have to go down and identify the buckets for which you can make an impact in terms of market access and do an assessment for your key products and how you're going to get them into the market. How does flexibility goes, become more than just a word? Flexibility becomes more than just a word and that is, let me give you an example. I hear, I hear in my company people say, oh Gemma, if we... If we manufacture products in Singapore and get them registered in Singapore, we'll get quick market access because we'll be able to put those products into other countries before we get US or EU approval. Well, okay, is that really true? And is it true for all countries or just some? Or is that just something that you hear anecdotally? And what I don't see happening is a systematic analysis that says whether that's true or not. And, is it, and if it's true, for which countries is it true? And so I think that's, a, that's just a very small example. And then, How would a company that doesn't have the resources of an Edwards approach this? I think, I think the approach is scalable. Is scalable. Is scalable. So I think you start with, even if you're a small company, you can still, and, then, and I think that's ideal, if you're a co all companies are going to grow. So what happens is that you scale it down. This is an analysis, by the way. And I don't think that this requires huge amounts of external resources. This requires a dedicated team, if you like, a task force, a market access task force. And this is there is such a thing as a checklist for this activity? Aha. Uh -huh. And here's the key thing here, and that is I would recommend that companies develop what I would call a market access task force and you identify all the key buckets where you may, but you don't necessarily know, have an opportunity to improve your market access. And then the first thing you need to do is be able to ask the right questions. And you can't go and look that up. So you have to sit down as a company and say, what are the questions that we should be asking about our manufacturing sites, our supply chain, our change control, our MPD, our labeling, and then ask the right questions. And then from the right questions, yes, you can develop checklists that you can go through and do your analysis. Now, you can't boil the ocean. So if you're a mid-sized company with many products, you're not going to do it for every product, but you can certainly do that for key products. And if you do it for key products, it'll inform your other product ranges. And if you're a smaller company, then essentially you've got a smaller number of products to do that. But I think that's the approach to do. Rather than people, what I see a lot of is opinion-based, rather than fact-based analysis of market access in terms of companies, cross-functional or operational activities and it's the operational activities which are key well beyond the, the if you like the registration strategy or those cross-functional act um, those cross-functional uh, operational activities inform your strategy for market access in terms of registration. The people who watch your presentation are going to regret that you're not an independent consultant that they can hire. <laughs> so I might need to hit you up for who you'd recommend to be the Gemma for them when you're not available. Okay, that sounds hard. <laughs>